John, what's your personal connection to Greenwich Village? When I moved to New York uh, about a quarter of a century ago, I moved to Greenwich Village. It just seemed like the natural place to be. I'd been reading about it for years, of course, and I'd been visiting for a long time coming up from, I grew up in Baltimore. I'd been coming up and, and always hanging out in the village or on the Lower East Side and in the East Village. I was a downtown guy from years before I moved to New York. Um, I didn't stay. Uh, I moved all around and now I'm in uh, Brooklyn Heights. But it, you know, it will always be in my heart as the first place I, I moved to. Now, the book contains, I mean, you talk about, I think, hundreds of yeah. <laughs> unbelievable characters, people that I kind of knew about, but now I really know about them. Of all those characters, anyone sticks out for you? Any most memorable character? Uh, for me, and I think for a lot of people, it's Maxwell Bodenheim. Talk about him. Uh, Maxwell came to uh, the village in the 1920s as a poet of great promise. He almost instantly became a poet that everybody wanted to punch in the mouth and <laughs> knock down a flight of stairs. He was a very obnoxious character. Um, he was also a terrible drunk and an infamous Lothario. Mm -hmm. He deteriorated through the 1930s and 40s into this shambling ghost that you would see on the street trying to sell you a poem for a quarter. Or he'd be hanging out in the bars and people would buy him drinks just to hear him you know, rant and rave. And uh, he ended up dying in 1953, shot in a squalid lover's triangle. Yeah. And in some ways, that arc from promising poet to the, you know, the lover's triangle, just it's not the only story arc that you could tell about the village, but it's a big one. So what's next for you? What's your next book? I would love to do the Lower East Side and East Village next. I, I think of those two as the two hemispheres of this great cultural brain that was Manhattan below 14th Street and much of which is gone now, so it's history, and it's, it's ripe for writing a book about. All right, John, thanks.